Good morning, everybody. It's David George Brook, that gratitude guy with the daily gratitude business briefing for Friday, August 14th, 2020. And I thought what I would talk about today briefly is the research that has shown how much gratitude can be affecting you physically, mentally, emotionally, and psychologically. And I call this a science of gratitude studies. So here's some of the studies that have come out in the last couple of years. Appreciating what we have measurably improves our relationships, our life satisfaction, our health, our sleep, and it improves our physical health, leading to fewer aches and pains, lower blood pressure, and less depression. Grateful people are more likely to take care of their health, exercise more often, and schedule regular checkups. Next study, gratitude reduces toxic emotions like envy, resentment, frustration, anger, and aggression, and enhances positive emotions like empathy, caring, and sympathy. Thirdly, too much of our time is spent pursuing things we currently don't have. Gratitude reverses that and realigns our priorities to appreciate what we have, have currently. Happiness is rarely constant, so although happiness is a fantastic goal, gratitude for the tools that get you there are more important. Uh, fourthly, how easily we can lose sight of everything we have to be thankful for when the circumstances of life become unpleasant. So you can certainly think about coronavirus with that. In the fifth study, we are our own worst critics and we hold ourselves to impossible standards and we continually compare ourselves to others. Science says that the more you choose positive and kind words to describe yourself, your health, your body, and your progress, the less anxiety you will experience. So certainly the science of gratitude shows how much it can uh, impact us mentally, emotionally, physically, psychologically, and that happens in the personal or professional world. So keep that in mind. Remember how positive gratitude can do to can make your life just by practicing an attitude of gratitude. That's the daily gratitude business briefing for today. We'll see you next week. I'm that gratitude guy. Remember, be grateful and never quit.